dissolved my hydrated lime, uh, 20 grams in one litre of water, and I've just left that to dissolve overnight. And here is the copper sulphate. Again, the same amount, 20 grams, and I've dissolved that in one litre of water. I only need to make a small amount to mix up and use immediately. And I've used the traditional method of putting it in a stocking and leaving it to soak overnight so that it actually dissolves easily through the water. So here I've got the hydrated lime that's uh, mixed in a litre of water and here I've got the copper sulphate. And it's important to make sure that you mix the hydrated lime into the copper sulphate, not the other way around. Wear gloves and eye protection and protect your clothing when you're doing this. Just pour the mix together slowly small amount at a time. So here we have a traditional lime and copper sulfate mix or Bordeaux ready to use. Use it within a 24 hour period. Put it into your sprayer. I'm just going to pour it in carefully here through a funnel and then go and treat a few trees. So Bordeaux is a great treatment for your mangoes in the cooler months of the year to help control black spot disease and even to control things like anthracnose, that terrible disease that hits your plants usually before flowering or at flowering when we get a wet winter season. If you're growing a bay tree and you find that it gets a few disease problems, then why not try using the Bordeaux on that during the winter time as well. It's a great treatment and it lasts actually for quite a long time, doesn't tend to wash off easily with watering or if we do get rain. This lemon has finished all its fruiting for this year and it's just starting to come into flower. So I'm treating it here with the Bordeaux as a great protection against disease for the coming season. So we would normally treat uh, after we've harvested all our fruit on a citrus as well. Give it a good thorough spray all over the leaves, undersides, top sides and all down the trunk and branches. And of course, don't forget about your pawpaw too. When you're spraying your pawpaw, concentrate on the new foliage that's coming away from the centre of the plant and also on any of the young fruit. Remember that this is a preventative spray. So the leaves that have already been affected, uh, really it's not going to help all that much on those leaves. The black spots aren't going to go away, but it will help protect all that new foliage. And that's what you're looking to keep growing through the winter time, that new crown. And don't forget to spray it on the green fruit. They probably won't mature until about September in Brisbane. And you want to protect them from all of those ripe fruit diseases that they might otherwise get through the cooler months of the year.